Beautiful song there from Celestine Doncor featuring uh, this uh, young man known as Gideon. That other name, I leave Celestine to just <laughs> pronounce for us. <laughs> She's already in studio all the way from Ghana and uh, she is a blessing to the body of Christ. We'll get to hear her story tonight. In case you have a question, you have a comment, feel free to get in touch with us. We are live on Facebook, we're live on YouTube as well as on X. Uh, kindly get us there and let us know how you are receiving us and so onwards onwards let's get to know Celestine Donkor is in studio somebody who is listening for the very first time never had that name uh, whom would you tell them that you are in way of introduction <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Hope FM yes. for having me on a very short notice and I really appreciate it um, Celestine Donkor I am 100% Ghanaian. I was born in Ghana, raised in Ghana, schooled in Ghana, nurtured in Ghana. Wow. <laughs> yes, I have lived my whole life mm -hmm. in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, my music journey um, started professionally about 15 years ago. But as a grow, when I was growing up as a young uh, you know, uh, kid, I was raised from a Christian home. And because my parents are very committed to church and church activities, I saw myself performing in church and children's service, a youth service, and I went through all the process of the church. And then growing up, I found myself just loving the church and the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, but professionally, um, my music journey started uh, one day when I escorted a friend to the studio. Um, I, wish I wasn't going to record at all. Mm -hmm. uh, that friend of mine was doing her recording session and I just accompanied her. So um, when she was performing and uh, recording the song in the studio, um, I was kind of singing along. <laughs> and then that was how the producer heard me. So he would turn once in a while and, and you know, still uh, 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 listen to my voice. So after my friend's session, the studio uh, producer called me and said, you have a very beautiful voice. I was hearing you when you were singing along. All right. Um, do you want to record? And trust me, this is how my music journey started. Wow, wow. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yes. And so you have uh, been visiting us here in Kenya. This is a uh, uh, visit number what? Number four. Number four. <laughs> yes. So what, what, what do you love most about Kenya? Ah, it's very easy to say that. I yeah. love Kenya tea. Yeah. I love Ugali. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, as for Ugali, if you serve me Ugali and water, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ugali and water. Yes. Not even the vegetables we have around uh, grilled nyamachoma. I mean, uh -huh. I love everything as long as Ugali is part. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I mean. Wow. Yeah, you know, because right. uh, in, uh, in Ghana, we do a lot of swallows. Mm -hmm. We don't like so much of chewing, chewing food. Ah. Yes. We <laughs> so your food is uh, mushy. Yes, they are always like that. Oh, right. So I think the only thing that is very close <laughs> mm -hmm. is ugali for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so recently you were ministering at Praise Atmosphere yes. and uh, you have come a couple of times. So share with us how your journey was from the very first time you came to the Praise Atmosphere. Even recently I saw you ministering in, and you even ministered in a Swahili song. Yes. But <laughs> even, I, 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 I was amazed. Yeah. Okay. So the relationship between me and Evelyn Wanjiru, mm -hmm. uh, greetings to her wherever she is um our relationship started in south africa we were both invited to minister at uh, mukululi bebe's um concert okay. and that was how we met we just connected and you know it was just beyond normal we just clicked we just it's like we knew each other for a long time and she has a very sweet spirit and so we just connected on that note and we started talking mm -hmm. we started chatting and i love her music i started listening to her songs i said mm, this lady must be heard in ghana yeah so i invited her first to uh, ghana yep. for my concert called celestial praise i've done it for 10 years uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. And she has been in Ghana three times mm -hmm. for Celestial Praise. And so that was how our whole journey began. And so Praise Atmosphere has become like uh, a second, you know, very comfortable stage for me. Uh, because, you know, uh, all these years I've experienced, I've had the opportunity to be part of Praise Atmosphere. This year's spirit atmosphere mm -hmm. was something else, wow. was something else. You know, the presence of God, when you can literally touch the presence of God, that was the kind of experience we had this time. Mm -hmm. And I am just grateful to God and how he, in his mysterious ways, connect us to different vessels that he has you know ordained for his work mm -hmm. yeah that was how we met and we are more than family now <laughs> awesome awesome great yeah. to know great to know <laughs> and uh, we've uh, had that song that you did with her it's called favored favor everywhere favor everywhere mm. all right and uh, so let's uh, get to know you better you know mm. you've talked about your christian family mm. and all mm. I understand that you're married tell us a bit about your family <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah. Yes, yeah. before I, be, I come to my family, mm -hmm. I am a seven born of a family, a siblings of 15. Ah, you're number seven. <laughs> number seven. All right. <laughs> number of perfection. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> my parents yes. did a very good job. <laughs> but I, I, I don't want to learn from them, you know. <laughs> It's a lot of work. Wow, 15. <laughs> yes, so um, I am married by the grace of God. Uh, 24th December will be our 17th ish. 18th. Mm. I keep counting back. <laughs> 18th anniversary. Wow. Uh, we'll be 18 years in marriage. Mm -hmm. We have three beautiful girls. Yes. <laughs> my, my first is 16, and my last is 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any of them who has shown interest in music? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> the second and the third, the second and the last, they they really love music. And as for the second one, she already sing on my platforms. Mm -hmm. She started singing on my platforms, mm -hmm. my concerts. All right. Yeah. That's great to know. And so you told us that your journey began when you were accompanying, your musical journey began when you were accompanying this friend of yours mm -hmm. in uh, recording. Mm -hmm. And from then on, you began. So how many albums to your name right now? I have seven albums seven. and mm -hmm. I have uh, a couple of singles mm -hmm. that are working towards becoming an album mm -hmm. <laughs> yes and so uh, being born in a family a christian family and all did you how, how was your growing up i want to hear from you just your own take oh dear yes. oh dear <laughs> how was it for you growing up was i have a very very interesting story mm -hmm. uh, like i already told you we are 17 siblings there's a lot of pressure financially and there's a lot of stress, you know, in raising 17 children in an African economy. It was really tough for my parents. And so I started uh, working as, not working, I started living with people as a house help mm -hmm. at a very young age of my life. I served in many homes, different places, different families. 
uh, I was just cleaning, washing, you know, it's not to be paid but for, but sometimes it's just for you to get some small scoop of rice mm -hmm. back home for your other siblings mm -hmm. to have something to eat and something to wear, you know. So that was how I grew up doing that for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And the issues that are associated with this experience is... It should be reserved for another day mm. because we wouldn't have time to, to talk about them all. But I can say in summary, mm. I I have suffered depression. I have suffered abuse. I have suffered all kinds of maltreatment. At a point, I even constantly play, uh, constantly uh, prayed for a month, mm. asking God to let me die. What? Yes, mm -hmm. asking God to let me die because... I was just so young to go through the things I was going through at the time. You know, when you live with people as a house help, you are not respected. You are treated as a nobody. And even sometimes as, as, as simple as eating, just getting something to eat after I had this work mm -hmm. was really a, a difficult thing to, to get. And I asked myself so many questions that why should I go through all these things as a young child like I was? Because I was between, I, I think, from the age 12, 11, 11 mm -hmm. to my 17th years, I was just living with people. I was that dirty girl, you know, in the neighborhood, not even having slippers to wear. I ran on foot for errands on my barefoot for errands you know i i hey so many things i didn't see mm. at that time i didn't see me becoming who i am today it was not it didn't show up in the picture at the time at all um but that is how mighty god is life is not about how we begin is about who is with us on our journey Amen. and where he's taking us. Amen. That is how the Lord has surprised my life. And so my songs are centered on message of hope and encouragement for people. Because, you know, we cannot give people what we don't have. Mm -hmm. I have experienced God's mercy in a very special way. And I want to use my song to channel that part of God, that merciful God, that loving God who does not care your background, who does not care your family, who does not care how you started, how poor you are, but he can just pick you out of the miry clay and honor your life and place you at a place where it is expensive to get hold of you. That is the kind of God we have. So when you listen to the song you played, mm. I sang, I never knew you favor me this way. You turn my life around. I've been home. You see, so, so many things. Mm. Um, I remember one of the most horrible experiences that it's, it's just hard to forget when I was in the time of my house help days. Mm -hmm. um, there was one woman I lived with she is a great person she's a nice person but then she had this f distant family cousin with her who was older than me we were all young people but she was a bit older yeah. than me so when the madame is not home mm. she's kind of in charge now so when the woman leaves she tells us do this sweep here wash this clothes and after have your lunch but when she leaves that young lady i don't know the kind of person she is she's so wicked she would not give me that food. She would make me do her chores. And I was so young to do some of the things I was doing at the time. She would make me do her chores and she would make me like suffer. Mm -hmm. And after I watched her throw my food away, mm -hmm. she just made sure that I would not eat. One day I even developed ulcer in the process because I was starving. And I couldn't tell the woman mm -hmm. because when I tell her, that girl will kill me. So one day she saw that my stomach was hurting. She saw that I needed to eat. So she wanted to give me the food. But then she said on the condition that the woman is a nursing mother. She had a baby. That's actually the reason why this girl was in the house to take care of the baby. Because I was too young to handle a baby. So she used the spoon of the baby to fetch the baby's poop and just scooped it into, push it down my throat. And was forcing me to swallow that up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how I, I swallowed the baby's poop. And for years, this trauma traumatized me. 
it made me feel worthless anytime i remember it 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 pushed me in a place of nothingness and it took me years to overcome that horror of experience and for me to get over that mm -hmm. for me to accept god's love you know in the end for me to just stand out and tell people that it doesn't matter what you are going through there is hope for you it's just the mercy of god it's just the grace of god mm -hmm. and so when i pick the microphone and i stand or stay to sing it's not about performing it's about telling people about the god that i have personally encountered in such a way that no man can tell me that he does not exist mm -hmm. mm. Wow, what yeah. testimony. We'll continue mm. with this in the next hour, but I, I'd like you to share with us a bit about the story behind your latest song. Is it uh, what, what Shall, shall I, I Render? render? Yeah. So that in the next hour, we continue with this uh, testimony and get to know more about your musical journey. Tell mm. us about the story behind What Shall I Render? What Shall I Render is a Thanksgiving song uh, for the past four years every end of year i release a thanksgiving song because i realized that we need to put everything aside and thank god as long as you have life then you have everything and so it's a song that expresses our gratitude unto god and um looking at how the year began the things that you have experienced in between and where we are today it can only be god mm -hmm. and so it's a song that expresses appreciation to god for everything you've experienced in the year with the hope and faith that he who has begun with you will finish well with you amen tonight we are hosting <laughs> minister celestine donkor all the way from ghana and in a little while we'll also give her a kenyan name a swahili <laughs> name yes in just a little while and so listen <clears throat> to this song titled uh, what shall i render and uh, you're featuring obapa christy <laughs> mm -hmm. all right playing right here on hope <laughs> fm <laughs> the friends of hope is an initiative of hope media through this initiative we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive through your support we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope you too can become a part of this initiative today 
send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? Through this initiative, we are able to partner with others who are keen to ensure that we keep hope alive. Through your support, we are sharing the hope we have with many others who are yet to embrace hope. You too can become a part of this initiative today. Send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 933933. Account name Friends of Hope. For more information regarding Friends of Hope, please email friendsofhope at hopefm.org or SMS FOH to 20933. Join Friends of Hope today. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. Another quality service from Christ is the answer. Did you know the Friends of Hope is an initiative of Hope Media? I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, it's been really tough and hectic, but everyone says once you get a hang of it, it becomes better. And I don't know, but I'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic. But you've been in the job industry for a long time, so I think you would know better, Sindio. Huh? What time is it? Ah! I need to catch up on leadership forum. Do they have a radio here? Uh, ah, never mind. I broke my own. <gasps> no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even miss of the what? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform, name it. App Reports, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify, you name it. But I'm not subscribed on any of them. Oh, no worries. You can just check out the latest episodes on HopeMediaKenya.org. You can now listen to select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website, www.HopeMediaKenya.org. Listen. And live. I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, it's been really tough and hectic, but everyone says once you get a hang of it, it becomes better. And I don't know, but I'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic. But you've been in the job industry for a long time, so I think you would know better, Sindio. Huh? What time is it? Ah. I need to catch up on leadership forum. Do they have a radio here? Uh, ah, never mind. I broke my own. <gasps> no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even miss of the what? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform, name it. App Reports, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify, you name it. Hooray! But I'm not subscribed on any of them. Oh. oh, no worries. You can just check out the latest episodes on HopeMediaKenya.org. You can now listen to select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website, www.HopeMediaKenya.org. Listen and live. been trying to find a balance um it's been really tough and hectic but everyone says once you get a hang of it it becomes better and i don't know but i'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic but you've been in the job industry for a long time so i think you would know better Sindio. huh what time is it ah i need to catch up on leadership forum do they have a radio here uh, ah never mind I broke my own. <gasps> no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even miss of the what? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform, name it. App Reports, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify, you name it. Hooray! But I'm not subscribed on any of them. Oh. oh, no worries. You can just check out the latest episodes on hopemediakenya.org. 
You can now listen to Select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website www.hopemediakenya.org. Listen and live. and generosity toward this great initiative. As we continue spreading hope to the other enriched regions in Kenya, you are invited to be part of the Friends of Hope through a contribution of any amount via Mpesa Pay Bill 933-933, account name FOH. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. God bless you. You, the listener, are the reason why we Welcome to the world of Hope Media, a media unit of Christ is the Answer Ministries that is committed to spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through the transformative power of media. Hope Media is dedicated to utilizing various forms of media to spread the message of hope, love and redemption to all people around the world. Hope Media consists of various units that work together to achieve this goal. These units include Hope FM. Hope FM is your number one Christian radio station offering you discussions on current day-to-day issues, inspiring music, life-changing sermons, and news updates, broadcasting 80% in English and 20% in Swahili, with listenership of over 12 million every month. Hope TV. Hope TV programming is designed to inspire, educate, and challenge the viewer with wholesome content to reach various demographic groups, children, youth and adults, both male and female, with viewership of over 24 million every month. Hope Recording Studios Hope Recording Studios is a state-of-the-art recording facility that offers high-quality recording, mixing and mastering services. It is designed to meet the needs of musicians, artists and other creative professionals who require top-notch recording facilities. Hope Creative at Hope Creatives, we believe that inspiring graphic design work doesn't just happen. It takes the right people with wild out-of-the-box ideas committed to the same ideals working together to make it happen. We listen, we learn, we brand. Hope Digital Hope Digital is a creative digital unit within Hope Media. We are driven by a passion to creatively express ourselves while influencing you with the same creative energy in online spaces and beyond. At Hope Media, we believe that media can be a powerful tool for spreading the message of hope as well as grow your business through advertisements and we do this with excellence. For more information regarding our services, please visit www.hopemediakenya.org or call us on 0709-861-180. Hope Media, we keep hope alive. Welcome to the world of Hope Media, a media unit of Christ is the Answer Ministries that is committed to spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through the transformative power of media. Hope Media is dedicated to utilizing various forms of media to spread the message of hope, love and redemption to all people around the world. Hope Media consists of various units that work together to achieve this goal. These units include Hope FM. Hope FM is your number one Christian radio station offering you discussions on current day-to-day -day issues, inspiring music, life-changing sermons and news updates, broadcasting 80% in English and 20% in Swahili, with listenership of over 12 million every month. Hope TV Hope TV programming is designed to inspire, educate and challenge the viewer with wholesome content to reach various demographic groups, children, 
youth and adults both male and female with viewership of over 24 million every month hope recording studios hope recording studios is a state of the art recording facility that offers high quality recording mixing and mastering services it is designed to meet the needs of musicians artists and other creative professionals who require top notch recording facilities hope creative at hope creatives we believe that inspiring graphic design work doesn't just happen it takes the right people with wild out of the box ideas committed to the same ideals working together to make it happen we listen we learn we brand hope digital hope digital is a creative digital unit within hope media we are driven by a passion to creatively you Celestine you know uh, we have heard a lot about uh, artists uh, we call them musicians we call them ministers and all uh, who start from somewhere and then along the way uh, discouragements come and uh, they choose to go a different direction mm. uh, what would you like to <clears throat> encourage them with what, what what word of encouragement would you like to tell them oh <laughs> well I think it is not easy to take up or to take upon yourself the work of God. It was as it wasn't easy for Jesus to carry on the cross and save humanity from sin. There is always a sacrifice. It's a huge sacrifice. I mean, when I look at music right now, the kind of monies we invest in right from the studio recording to the video shoot, to the promotion of the song. It's some money that if you're a business person, you know that you can put it into some import of some product and you are making good money. But this is what God has called us to do. And God deserves our resources to be invested in his work. And so I would say it's not easy, but the beauty of what we do is the glory at the end of it all. We are not just struggling in vain. Our struggle is not in vain. Bible said that Christ in you is the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. So it's the glory that we are looking forward to in the end that we know that 
our hope in God will not be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Through this music, personally, I have experienced so many testimonies, so many blessings that money cannot buy. Um, there, there was one time I went to minister at a program. Mm -hmm. At the time, I wasn't driving. I always at, uh, went to meetings with uh, Uber or taxi, and then they had to wait for me to take me back home. There was one meeting I was invited. After I ministered, I was just preparing to go back in my taxi. The pastor said, I'm blessing you with a car. Wow. Yes. And so what am I trying to say? Mm -hmm. Bible say that bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. There are benefits in Christ in serving the Lord from a, a pure heart. And I know that you just have to be patient. Maybe somebody out there is just beginning. You are just starting. And it's difficult for your songs to be heard. It's difficult for your songs, you know, to get that attention. But keep on pushing. Keep on you know, having faith in God and hold on to it. Mm -hmm. uh, we thank God that for Ghana, the story is different now. For Ghana, most of the secular guys are trying to do gospel now mm -hmm. because God is honoring the gospel people. He's giving us the endorsements. He's giving us the, you know, all the attention is on the gospel now. And that is the way to go because in Christ, there is a future. But yeah. without him, we are as good as dead. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, <clears throat> I want to appreciate your music. I've uh, had an opportunity to listen to your music. <laughs> and today I had a, 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 a time of just sampling more of your music so that I get to know some of the songs that you've been doing, apart from the songs that we already play here. Mm. So how do you approach your songwriting? Um, my songwriting is, is purely a gift from God. I would say it's one thing I don't struggle to do at all. Um, most of the time I am inspired by the word of God, uh, the message, whether I'm reading from a Bible, whether I am listening to a preacher, uh, whether I'm reading an art, a Christian article, anything that tends to bless me, tends to give me revelation and insight into God. It is just easy for me to put it in a song. And once in a while, I'm able to dream dreams that I'm singing in the dream. And I don't always wake up remembering them. But once in a while, I do remember them and I have songs like that. And so there are different ways that God gives me song. But I would say it's purely the gift of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in your musical journey, mm -hmm. yeah, the successes, you've said uh, you have uh, seven albums so far. Yeah. In this journey, what are some of those challenges that you have uh, faced? Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Like I said, um, it's not easy to take upon yourself this uh, nature of work because it's, not, it's totally different. You know, for, 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 for a typical example, um, I was approached by a betting company to sponsor my uh, concert. It's very hard to get sponsorship for concerts in Ghana, where I come from. It's not easy at all. And then you have alcohol companies and betting companies reaching out to you, you know, and you can't accept those things because those are the things that you are preaching to people that God should save them from. You know, yeah. you are preaching that God used my song to save this person from alcoholism break the bondage of alcoholism over their lives and then you have the brand alcoholism and does your worship concert so it's 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 it's, it's a challenge but then uh christ god has been faithful um sometimes when you release your song and like i said i've been actively involved in the industry for over 15 years mm -hmm. you still have to uh Pay money to be played. In Ghana, we pay to be played. Mm. Yes, on radio, we, we pay for to us, be played. For us, we have to pay the, 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 the licensing companies in order, in order for us to play your music exactly. so that you can get royalties. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's totally the opposite. It's really tough in Ghana to do this kind of uh, ministry. But um, God has been helping us. I pray that we will come to that realization one day that this is the work of God and we are doing it to support God, uh, to support, um, to, we are doing it for God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pray that we'll come to that. But 
those are the few challenges mm -hmm. yeah we have yeah and uh, helpful you know god helps us even mm -hmm. in such moments to know that this is a temptation and we can overcome mm -hmm. and uh, we carry on with the ministry and so you you have shared with us your experience here in kenya you have uh, done the ministry with uh, evelyn any other thing that is coming up uh, any time soon here in kenya or in africa or around the world <laughs> Well, um, I would say the year is already coming to an end. I have lined uh, a couple of bookings lined up for my ministry. Um, from here, I'll be heading to the UK for uh, another assignment. Um, I have a new song, the one you, pr you played. Mm -hmm. It's my latest release, and that is the focus right now uh, for this song to just go out and bless people. And so that's the focus. Uh, for other further activities, I would encourage you to follow my pages uh, my name is my, my my name is celestine donko music that's how you find me on facebook on instagram on tiktok mm -hmm. on youtube is celestial tv mm -hmm. celestial tv mm -hmm. is youtube but all other platforms you find me as celestine donko music mm -hmm. yeah you'll be able to get the updates of what i'm up to <laughs> yeah being a mother of three mm. <laughs> being a mother of three beautiful daughters mm. how do you balance ministry and uh taking care of your children and i understand your husband is around here somewhere <laughs> <laughs> somewhere watching this uh, how do you balance this i would say um is the beauty of having your husband as also as your manager um, he has been the pillar of my ministry. Um, just like us, I, I know Evelyn and the husband, they are also into husband, you know, wife ministry. That is exactly how we are, we are also in Ghana. Um, by the grace of God, we understand that this is our assignment and it has made it easy for us to sacrifice a lot for each other to make sure that we are able to cater for the ministry and also cater for the home. Mm -hmm. So we have managed ourselves. We have sacrificed when need be. We have to let go. We have to, you know, uh, let go some satisfaction we need uh, for the sake of what we are doing. And the advantage is that because we are on the road together, we understand that this is what it is. And we are able to adjust our lives to help. But my husband has been very, uh, he has been, I call him my destiny helper. Amen. He's not just a man I married as a husband, but he also doubles up as my destiny helper with regards to when I'm looking for just one person who has been of a great blessing to my life that is my husband you know in life you, one day you need to sit down and ask yourself who is that one person who has been of a tremendous blessing to your life mm -hmm. for me that's my husband mm -hmm. and all the credits goes to him mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting you've mentioned the, the issue of, you know, having your husband helping you mm -hmm. in this, being your destiny helper and mm. all that. And so I'd like also to find out from you, you have, uh, you've been listening to gospel music from across the continent, mm. right from South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, you know, West Africa and all what what is your take regarding gospel music, especially as you listen to music across the continent of Africa? Uh, you are very right. Mm -hmm. I have a very wide taste for music yeah. and I listen to a variety of songs. And I would say that um, gospel music is really growing. We are beginning to embrace different genres of music. We are beginning to think more global now. We are not just limiting ourselves to our countries where we are. But we are thinking global. We are thinking of beats. We are thinking of sound. We are thinking of message. And, uh, you know, um, the, even the mode of the message that will, will travel far. And so it is actually helping us to grow. And social media is also um, really helping. Now you can actually promote your song to any country from the comfort of your, your your home mm -hmm. and you are able to reach p audience outside your space and it's really helping um we can now promote our music online we can now do so many things and reach audience far from 
he that too wasn't really easy to reach. Yeah, so I'll say that on the whole, gospel in particular is growing and we are embracing change when the church itself is embracing the message and it's really helping. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> this is interesting. We're getting to find out more about our sister uh, Celestine Duncan all the way from uh, Ghana and I've seen lots of uh, comments here. Let me read a few from Habel Barasa listening to the program. Uh, Albert uh, Oma from Rongo University, Lynette Wanjiro, a powerful testimony there. Yes, and uh, who else? Uh, a number of others here just appreciating the program. I also want to hear from you, Celestine. I know um, this music that you are currently singing, writing, and uh, you know, sharing with the rest of the world, you told me something that uh, really stood out for me, that you want to spread the message of hope. Yeah. In a world that is uh, you know, having all manner of things mm. all around. And so... What, what would you say regarding uh, this gospel music that you are singing mm. in regards to us addressing societal issues and spreading messages of hope and healing, especially regarding what you went through at some point in your life? Mm. What do you think is the role of gospel music mm. uh, in order to heal people who have uh, gone mm. through such experiences? Mm. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for that question. Mm -hmm. um, Gospel music is very, very important. For me, uh, in those challenging times, it was just the factor, the change that brought me healing and restoration is the God factor. If I always say, if I had not been raised in Christ, if I was not taught who God is, if I was not educated and nurtured in Christ, I'm sure my story would be a different story today. So the God factor in my life played a very major role in who I am today. In those times, I remember I fall on gospel music that encourages people. You know, and there was one guy in Ghana at the time who released a song that talks about uh, no matter what you are going through, do not kill yourself. Because there is hope for you. As long as you have life, you have hope. And so those are some of the songs that in a crushing moment, when I heard them, they became a hope. They restored my faith and they give me some something to hold on to. And so the role of gospel music in our society is, is so crucial. If you are a parent, trust me, if you are a family, mm -hmm. I want to encourage you to surround your home with gospel music. Raise your children listening to gospel music. Encourage them to listen to these uh, songs, gospel song mm -hmm. that talks about Christ, that talks about Jesus, that talks about salvation, that talks about the things that nothing else can give us outside Christ, mm -hmm. but in Christ. I think if we understand this and we nurture our children, in this way, when they become adults and they are on their own and life starts hitting them, you know, the most difficult part of life is when you are serving God and you have challenges. When you are serving God and you are battling with cancer, you are serving God and you are battling with uh, barrenness, you are serving God and you are battling with issues that we have been promised that these are the blessings that we have in God. You see, if those things, you are not grounded in faith, it will crush you and it will make you turn your faith away from God. And so the more, the more you are getting close to God, the more you are consuming gospel music, the more you are consuming the word of God. Bible says that let the word of God dwell richly in you because it's not going to be easy in our world. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. You know, but at the end of it all, what gospel music, what the church is feeding in our spirit is that confidence, mm -hmm. that hope that is not inspired by what we have, but it's inspired by the grace and the mercy of God. Listen, we have armed robbers. Mm -hmm. We have thieves on our street. But where are they coming from? They are coming from families. They were born by women, you know. But the difference between that person and who is saved in Christ is the difference is Christ. And so if people know Christ and we face challenges, we do not take, turn our back. 
we have hope. We have hope. We have confidence. You know, we have trust that no matter what, God is going to see us as through. That is why a popular story in the Bible that talks about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were in fire. And sometimes Christians, we go through fire and the world will put us into fire. But why would, why did they not deny Christ even in the fire? Because they knew him. They knew his work. This is the whole point. We know Christ. We know his work. We, we've been raised to understand that this God does not fail. The God of our fathers, the faithful one, the one who led the Israelites through the, the, the desert, through the Red Sea, and made way for them, you know, he does not fail. And when we raised the generation with this understanding, trust me, society will be better. The world will be a better place. Our family will be healed. We will have more confidence in ourselves. Mm -hmm. So the God factor, the gospel factor cannot be uh, underestimated in Amen. our lives. Amen. Thank you for that encouragement. Mm. And so today here in Kenya, we're celebrating Independence Day, Jamuhuri Day. It is the 60th. Mm. So Kenya turns 60 today. Probably you have a word for Kenyans. Mm. <laughs> as we I, went, I went to the giraffe park today. Ah. Also. <laughs> Uh -huh. It was very nice yes. to feed the giraffe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was very nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, what will I say? Spend time with your family. I know you, some of you went out to have fun. And I would encourage you that after all the fun, take a phone and call somebody, a family member probably you've not heard from in a long time. Call them and just pray for them. Tell them, I felt in my spirit to call you and pray with you. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, gather your family and pray together. You know, there is something that God stirs up in a family that serve God together, in a family that worship together, that pray together. And so I will encourage you that enjoy your holiday, have fun, but at the end of it all, make sure that you are committing the entire family under the covering of God by praying together. Amen. Mm. I promised you to give you an African name, a Kenyan name, <laughs> sorry, Kenyan name, Imani. Imani? Imani. It sounds nice. Imani means faith. Oh! <laughs> Imani means faith. Celestine Imani Donko. I like that. <laughs> Amen. So you can uh, already have that as your name. Thank and you. And we are so, so grateful that you came. <laughs> and you. Uh, before we release, you probably have a parting shot, uh, probably something that you just want to leave us mm. with here in Kenya. And even those who are listening to us online, mm. you say this, I need to leave with the people of um, th those who are watching and of course those who are listening. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like to encourage you to head to my YouTube right now. Uh, I want to be sure you listen to this interview. So just go on YouTube, look for Celestial TV uh, or Celestine Donko and just leave a comment, especially under my new song, the title, What Shall I Render? You see me in a yellow dress. <laughs> leave a comment and leave hashtag HopeFM. Then I will know that, hey, you actually listened to us. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to sincerely thank and appreciate Evelyn Wanjiru and the husband, uh, Mr. Agunda. May the Lord Richie bless them. They are doing a great work in, in Kenya here. I mean, the gathering... At Praise Atmosphere last Saturday was just something else. And I pray that this revival will continue with other artists as well. That Kenya, Nairobi will be sold out for the Lord. I saw young people worshipping and, and, you know, throwing themselves at the altar. And this is a move of God. And I will encourage everyone to support search visions and and sponsor you may not be able to stand on the stage to sing but throwing in your support for such concert is ministry in itself may the lord bless you and keep you um ghana loves evelyn they wow. love <laughs> tell i tell you ghana love her so mm -hmm. if you don't treat her well we'll come for her we'll just find her a home in ghana in, ghana. in accra mm -hmm. and she'll just relocate with Mishindi and <laughs> everyone yes. but i know kenyans you've been very supportive may the lord bless you now i want to sincerely pray for anyone listening to us if you find yourself in a space of confusion in a 
space of not knowing what to do or where to turn to. I want to pray for you that the God of comfort will visit you. The God of hope will visit you. May you have an encounter with God that no man can convince you that he does not exist. I want to pray for you that the same God who visited my life, today I travel all over the world from that beginning that I shared with you. God has not been limited me. He has not disappointed me. May that same God remember you in your struggle. May he send help us to you in everything that you may be going through. If it is healing, I pray for you right now that the Lord will touch you at the point of your pain, at the point of your of your hurting, that the Lord will heal you completely. May you testify after this uh, session that you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for any marriage that is struggling right now that may the peace of God, may the unconditional love of God reign in your family. May the Lord fill your homes with laughter and joy in this season. May the Lord unite those that the devil has spread apart in the mighty name of Jesus and above all else may you not miss the glory of God in the end. May you not be swayed by the desires of this world that you will miss the beauty of heaven. May you be marked and counted um, in the book of life. May you be marked and counted among those who make it to heaven. It is my prayer that the struggles of this world will not sway you out of God's presence, but it will keep you there. It will, rem it will keep you stable. Staying. It will keep you remaining in his presence. That the glory of God will continue to shine on you and your family. Even to, from now to the end of the year and beyond the end of the year. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Wow. So we leave you for <laughs> now. But uh, before you leave, mm. um, tell us a bit about that song that you did with Massima Sika, oh. known as They That Wait. They and then, That Wait. Yes, then I'll allow you to, <laughs> to, to leave. <laughs> to now. leave, eh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I love Massima Sika's voice. Uh, she has a very powerful vocal range and vocal authority. So when I was writing that song, I thought, of her to be a perfect uh, collabo on the song and it talks about they that wait on the lord they shall be renewed in their strength um in life there is always a waiting time anytime you pray to god is either no it's not going to happen yes i'm doing it or wait so, and the waiting period is really a very difficult period um, but this song is sending you strength in that waiting time. When you are married and you are waiting for the fruit of the womb to happen, uh, this song gives you strength in that waiting period. When you have graduated from school and you are looking forward to that job, that life-changing job, you know, mm. that is your waiting time and you need strength. And so this song gives strength, strength and power to people who are waiting on God for their testimony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what the song is about <laughs> amen thank you so much all the best when you travel mm -hmm. back to ghana say hi to our beloved friends there from ghana thank you and uh, we leave you the blessings of asante lord. sana <laughs> god bless you amen <clears throat> they that wait on the lord they shall renew their strength